Hey everyone, this is Matt from Dinner DJ at the Giff Music Studios, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the X1850 mixer. The X1850 is a four channel club mixer with a high definition OLED screen, dual USB sound card, many connectivity options, a famous flex fader, and two dedicated effects engines. Each channel of the X1850 mixer is switchable to line, digital, phono, USB, or DVS, with sound card switchable from USB 1 and 2. So on the back of the unit, in addition to our line and phono inputs, we also have our dedicated network input, our digital outputs and inputs, booth out, master on XLR, send and receive, and finally MIDI out for connecting synths and drum machines. For microphone connectivity, we have a Combi, Neutric, XLR and Jack input on the top of the mixer, and also a quarter inch input in the rear. Let's take a look at the channel section for the X1850. First of all, we have our three dedicated EQs for high, mid and low. Now these can be set to either isolation or normal in the utility menu. So as you can see now, they're set to full kill. So next we have our dedicated filter section and sweep effects. The resonance of the filter can be edited in the menu. If we hit utility and filter, you'll see we can increase the resonance and also kill or bleed. Next we have our dedicated sweep effects section. These feature a dub echo, noise, washout and gate. Dub Echo is of course post fader. With the washer, we have a similar post fader pull down style, and each direction will have a different time. And finally, we have noise and gate. So in addition to the sweep effects, we also have 16 additional BPM locked effects that we can access with the OLED screen. So we have echo. Now I can adjust the value of any time-based effect using the ribbon. So check out a few more. If I scroll across, we have delay. Of course, I can combine the BPM effects with the sweep effects. So in addition to the time-based effects, we also have Hall Echo, Ping Pong, Trans, Flanger, Filter, Phaser, Bit Crush, Reverb, Roll, Reverse Roll, Beat Break, Scratch, Echo Hold, Pumper, and our Send and Return routing. So with the Engine Connect protocol, this ensures all track data sent to the players is synced via the link port. With Quantize, this ensures the effects that are time-based, such as delay and echoes, are synced to the bar. The X1850 features a high-resolution OLED screen. If I hold down Quantize, I can enter my utility menu. Here, we can set up things like our EQ types, and I can head down to Filter, change the resonance, also any headphone preferences. For example here, if I'm using Split Q, I can change where my Split Q output is going, to the left or to the right. Also there, we have Microphone Attenuation. And all the way down to System, we can change things like our display brightness, and also any MIDI settings. So above the OLED screen, you'll find our Quantize, MIDI Start Stop, and Engine Connect options. With Quantize, this ensures that BPM effects are locked and synced to the bar. With MIDI Start Stop, this ensures any drum machine or sampler that's connected from the MIDI DIN or the USB MIDI is also locked and on the bar start. And then finally, Engine Connect will either turn this protocol off or on, so we can manually tap effects values. 
Additionally, the mixer can also act as a 10-channel audio interface, providing further integration for software such as Ableton Live. Together with our partners SoundSwitch, Timecode, and Resolume, we can set up the X1850 in combination with the SE6000 to run custom video and lighting scripting packages. And of course, this can be used in all professional environments, from big festivals to small and mid-level clubs. So as you can see, the X1850 is a very powerful and versatile mixer. For more information on this or any other Den & DJ products, check out the GIF Music website.